Okay, this one, I'll admit, when I first read it, I went, what on earth? <laughs> it's, it's, it's unusual. 2x plus 3y equals 7, oh, uh, and 10x plus 15y equals 35. For each real number r, which of the following points lies on the graph of each equation in the xy plane for the given system? And if your eyes just glazed over, I don't blame you. Now me, when I first looked at that, I go, wait a minute. If I have a system of equations, that's two lines. Generally, when we have two lines, they cross and they have a solution, which is one point or they're parallel and they have no solutions. Those are the most common ones. But usually in algebra, when we're talking about systems of equations like this, they almost always are gonna be two lines crossing and they want us to find the solution. And here they're telling us the solution is in variable form for every real number. Like, what, what? So I looked at these lines a little closer and that's when you notice they're being tricky. These are the same line. It's the same line twice. 2x plus 3y equals 7 and 10x plus 15y equals 35. How do you get from 2x to 10x? You multiply by 5. How do you get from 3y to 15y? You multiply by 5. How do you get from 7 to 35? You multiply by 5. If you can do that, if you can multiply each one of these by the same number and get this other one, it's the same line. Okay? That's, that's point one. You have to realize that they are the same line. Okay, so next one. They wanting you to know, they want you to find out which of these represents all the points that are on this line. Okay, so what they want you to do is to take this equation, I'm gonna forget about this one because they're the same line. First, solve for x, and second, solve for y. So what happens if I solve for x? I'm gonna do that over here. 2x plus 3y equals seven. To solve for x, I need to get it by itself. So I'm gonna subtract 3y from both sides, and I get 2x equals negative 3y plus 7. Then I need to get rid of that 2, so I'm going to divide everything by 2, and I get x equals negative 3 halves y plus 7 halves. Okay? Other side, I'm going to solve for y. So here I have 2x plus 3y equals 7. To solve for y, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I have 3y equals negative 2x plus 7. Then I'm going to divide everything by 3 to get rid of that 3 in front of the y. And I get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 7 thirds. Now here's where it gets a little tricky and a little conceptual. All right, first, I'll look at my two, my two final solutions that I got here. Do you see anything over here that's similar to that? First one, I don't see anything that's similar to what I just got. Next, I have a negative 3r over 2 plus 7 over 2. Like, hmm, that's very close to this right here. So this is a possibility, okay? Next one. 2r cubed plus 7 cubed, I'm sorry, 2r uh, over 3 plus 7 over 3. That's very close to this, but not exactly. It's negative in mine. So I don't think that's right, but because this is a little oddball, I'm going to look at it a little closer and see what's going on. And then this one, negative 3r over 2 plus 7 over 2, it's the same there again. Now, if I'm looking this, and this is an unusual problem, it's very conceptual again, now I'm zeroing in on B and D because they're both the same, they're just reversed, and they both match this one that I just got. So already I'm thinking, okay, so this being a positive and this being a negative, that means something. This one is out, C is out. So now I'm just going to look at B and D. And what are these actually saying? They're saying if I have a number, any number, r. This one is saying if my y value is r, then my x value would be negative 3r over 2 plus 7 over 2. Look at this equation right here. 
This is saying that for every value of, X, of y, x is equal to negative 3 halves times the y plus 7 halves. What would happen if I replace that y with an r? What would my coordinates be for a point of r? r would be my y value. So this would be r. And what happens? What would my x value be? My x value is negative 3 halves times r plus 7 halves. And looky there. And that r, I should be very clear on that. This little r right there, this r, I'm writing it out to the side. That is not under the equation. It is out to the side. So it can be here or you can put it up here with the, the 3. Either way is fine. So negative 3 halves r plus 7 halves would be the x and r is the y. This is an oddball problem. It just is. So I, I hope that made sense. Again, you're saying if I pick a, pick a number, any number, and I'm calling that number r, and r is my y value, what would the x be? I plug it in, and that's what x would be. x would be negative 3 halves times that random r number plus 7 halves. So any number on this line can be represented as negative 3 times my whatever y value over 2 plus 7 over 2 and then the y value is just that same y value. Again, that's an oddball question, and I think it's going to trip up a lot of people. I just, I just do. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.